Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make this delicious moist cornbread from scratch. The recipe I'm using is from Darius Cooks. He has a lot of great recipes and we use this cornbread recipe every year for Thanksgiving. I'll have his recipe and his YouTube channel linked in the description below. This cornbread is sweet, moist, and delicious, so let's get started with the video. In a large bowl, add one cup of flour, one cup of cornmeal, one cup of sugar. However, if you don't want it too sweet, add a half a cup of sugar or three fourths cup of sugar. Now add one teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of baking powder. Honestly, sifting is totally optional. I just like to sift all my dry ingredients. Now create a well in the middle of your dry ingredients. Then add two eggs, one stick of melted butter, and one and one fourth cup of buttermilk. Now mix everything together until well combined. Next, fold in one cup of frozen corn kernels. You can also fold in three fourths cup of chopped pecans. The reason I didn't add pecans into the cornbread is because my brother doesn't like pecans, so we never added it, and now it's just become a habit to not put pecans in the cornbread when I'm using this recipe. Set your cornbread batter to the side and place an iron skillet in the oven at 350 degrees or at broil, just until it becomes hot. Take your iron skillet out and then add some butter. Your butter is going to melt in the hot iron skillet, so use that to coat your pan in the melted butter. This technique is also optional, I just saw a chef use it once and I thought it was really neat. I think I added too much butter though. Now add your cornbread batter into your iron skillet. Make sure the top is smooth and even. Now place your cornbread in the oven at 375 degrees for 35 minutes. While the cornbread is cooking, we're gonna make our honey butter. Add one stick of softened butter in a bowl. Then add two tablespoons of honey, and a pinch of salt. Then mix everything until well combined. When you're finished, set it to the side. When your cornbread has finished cooking and it's still nice and hot, add your honey butter on top. And this is the finished result. This is a really good cornbread. I totally recommend giving it a try. The recipe I used is from one of his cookbooks, which I recommend you get because he has a lot of good recipes. Um, but the recipe that I'll link down below is from his website, which is slightly different. Like I said before, this cornbread is moist, sweet, and delicious. I really like adding the corn because it just makes it 10 times better. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!